right. Today I'm hiking out of Hanover into Norwich, Vermont, a new state. Exciting. Hey guys, it is day 54 on the Appalachian Trail. And I am uh, making my way through Hanover towards the bridge to Norwich. Um, it's one of those interesting places on the trail. It's pretty different from everywhere else. Uh, in Hanover, we hike through town. Uh, same with Norwich. Um, once we get across the bridge, uh, we're in Vermont. So, this is my third state. It's pretty interesting stuff. Um, yeah. I'm into my last bit of the trail. Uh, there's no more stops between here and Rutland, and Rutland is where I get off. So this is it. Uh, looks like the sun is going to come out, which is fantastic. It started with a pretty miserable day. It was raining, uh, but uh, I'm optimistic that, uh, at least for today, the rain will hold off, fingers crossed. And if not, I'll set up camp. I've got... Uh, Four days of hiking, realistically, uh, at a you know a pace that I'm usually moving at. I've got eight days in which to do it, so um, you know that means I can really take my time, and I'm planning on doing so. <laughs> I figure I'll take a shelter zero in a couple of days because there's going to be uh, some pretty bad rain in like three days time or two days time or something like that. So yeah, take our time not suffer too much on these last few days. They are calling for rain for all of the last four or five days on the trail, uh, so I'm gonna get wet. It is what it is. Uh, yeah, so we've got uh, about 75 kilometers left to go. Here we go. Check out a bit more of Hanover. When I cross this bridge, I enter Vermont. Pretty crazy. Thank you, AT, for taking me on out of New Hampshire. Hopefully it's all flat, duffy trails from here. Here we go. A little bit of a weird section. Walk along a highway. Kinda sucks, but we don't have to do it for very long. We are in Norwich. Uh, for any hikers that watch this video after, uh, I mean, I don't get much hiker traffic, I guess this is more like a personal diary, but uh, when you come into Hanover, uh, it's not the most hiker-friendly town, and I would argue that Norwich probably isn't either based on what I've seen. Uh, West Lebanon has the best resources for hikers in terms of, like, people who want to Nero or zero in town. Um, so the most restaurants, the best resupply, and so on and so forth. Uh, you can get the buses down there for free as well. So uh, that's something that only operates Monday to Friday, but if you're in town Monday to Friday, um, those buses and all that stuff down in West Lebanon, that's where it's at. I mean, Norwich looks nice. Some nice properties here in Norwich. Look at this place, look at those trees. Wow. Beautiful. Oh, well, we're back in the woods. Pass through one more town on the way to Uh, but it's a, a tiny town with no resources. So basically, this is it until Rutland. Good stuff. Pretty, pretty in the woods today. It's like something out of a movie with the mist. Happy Hill. 
little shelter. That looks nice, a little stone shelter. I'm gonna take a little break here. What do you say? Why are you yelling at me? Yeah, I'm not gonna hurt you. these mushrooms. Pretty sure that they're lion's mane. I'm not positive, of course, because that doesn't grow at home as far as I know. If so, it's an edible. There's an owl up there. I'm pretty sure I didn't get video of him just then. Hiya, buddy. A couple of bridges underneath the interstate. <laughs> just refilled my water at this lovely spot. These fine folks are kind of trail angels and they help people out and they help me refill my water. Real this nice. was the general store, I guess, that's closed now. Too bad. And there's this. That's how I found my water source. Looks like the blue barn over there. In the library. Community center. Alright. And back into the woods, I think for the last time until I see Rutland. It's kind of dark and ominous, so I'm gonna try to get where I wanna be pretty soon. Full of water, I can kind of set up wherever. Hey, it is day 55 on the Appalachian Trail. Uh I got off a little early last night because it uh, started to rain. Um, didn't turn into much, but I guess it was still worth getting off. I only stopped about a kilometer and a half short of where I was aiming for anyway. Um, I've got uh, a couple of possible stopping points in mind today. So we'll see how far we go. I mean, the goal really at this point is just to get to Rutland, so. Uh, I've got lots of time to do it in and no real requirement to get to any specific point in, in a certain period of time. So I'm just going to go as far as we, we can go. Should be some nice views coming up soon, hopefully. It's a nice day so far. Fingers crossed it stays that way. Uh, yeah, calling for some weather all, for all of these next three days. So the longer it stays nice, the better. Uh, had a weird night's sleep last night. I've been having crazy dreams since I've been on the AT. Like almost every night I'll have at least one really weird one. Uh, last night I dreamt I was on Big Brother and there was another Newfoundland contestant. And uh, when I woke up, we were arranging to, uh, to work together. <laughs> I also had a dream about my ferret. Uh, Ender and a dream about a bear eating my foot. I guess that one's obvious, it's the bear anxiety. But uh, anyhow, weird. Yeah, here we go. It's a beautiful day so far. Let's hope it stays that way. Check out the trail.
This is the spot I was trying to get to last night. It's pretty. It's a nice view from here. Nice big trees. And right behind me is an apple tree. And behind that, there's lots of uh, possible hangs for a hammock too, so I should have trusted that I could do it and just came up here, I guess. Another little apple tree right here. What a beautiful spot. Dividing property up or something, but there seems like a lot of them here. And there's these wires in the trees, like plastic almost. I don't know what they are. I don't want to mess with them. That's definitely weird. There remains of some kind of structure here. I mean, I guess this place was settled like in the 1700s, so people would have built out here. That's why all those rock walls are out here. It's pretty cool. It's just a few meters away from that last structure that I filmed. There's obviously a structure here. Looks like the basement of a house. It's pretty cool. Check this out. You can really see there's like a hallway here. Maybe this was like a storage or something like that. Pretty cool. Uh, looks like trail magic. <laughs> Could it be trail magic? Hike your garbage out. Okay. Let's see. No. Ew. How pretty is that? Almost looks like they keep the top half of this field mode, and there's definitely a uh, tracks from a, a truck or something going by there. This is still used for something. Anyway, it's really pretty. Check out the fall colors starting to come out in the trees back there. apple trees. It's starting to rain. I'm going to put the camera away, but I wanted to get a shot of these. Pretty cool. This is the Thistle Hill Shelter. Stop here for lunch. of the field. Alright. Oh, oh guys look at this.
a nice view. That's beautiful. Some cows over there in the field on the right hand side. Sheep down there. down to the on the edge farm. <clears throat> Here's what I got. Here's my spoils, or at least what's left of it. Blueberry turnover, apple turnover, blueberry pie, and two cold drinks. Uh, I just beat the rain and got my pie. All right. It is coming down. I'm going to stay in my hammock for a while. Just chill out. I'm dry in here at least. Hey, it is day 56 on the Appalachian Trail. I'm off to a very late start today. Uh, it poured last night. Um, and uh, I decided I'd stay in my hammock until it stopped raining. So at 11 or so it stopped raining. and. I slowly but surely got ready, so I just started moving. I don't anticipate I'm going to get very far today, but i got a few options. And then it's going to be a challenge to get into Rutland tomorrow, but if I get up early enough, maybe I can do it. So we'll see. I'm not going to rush today because I'm feeling kind of sore. Um, but yeah, I hit board. <laughs> it rained real hard. And all my stuff got wet. Uh, well, I mean, all the stuff that could get wet, I guess, got wet. Uh, all the stuff underneath the tarp got protected, but the pack is pretty wet and stuff like that, so that kind of sucks. Yeah, I mean, I don't anticipate that the hiking's going to be hard today. I'm just feeling it from yesterday. And, uh, yeah. It's still pretty wet in the woods, so I imagine my shoes will get wet and whatnot, which kind of sucks. Anyhow, it is what it is. Get as far as we can. Here's the trail. Another one of these little guys. Hey there, little guy. the lookout. Hopefully I'll be staying here tonight. Check this place out. 
that's a good place to spend the last night on the trail, I think. There's a fireplace. This is pretty much luxury on the trail. Let's go up and see the lookout. Yeah, this place is pretty awesome. Look at the view from up here. Check out those fall colors. It's starting to come through. Yeah, wow. Well, sunrise on the final day. Pretty nice. Hey, it is day 57 on the Appalachian Trail. It's probably my last day. I'm gonna try to get out to uh, the exit into Killington today instead of Rutland. Um, they're very close to each other and there's a bus that runs between them so it works either way. And uh, that'll be it. And I'll be sleeping in a hotel bed tonight and for the foreseeable future, I guess, until I get to BC and we start cruising around. Um, so yeah, I had an interesting night last night. Uh, in the uh, in the cab in the lookout uh, I mean you know I'm not equipped for going to ground so it wasn't the most comfortable sleep but aside from that something was creeping around outside um, all night and uh, it's one of those things where everything sounds like a bear so I'm not sure if it was a bear but uh, it was loud and it was like all night, so I had a tough time getting to sleep. Every time I started to sleep, I heard something creeping around outside and it woke me back up. And uh, every time I did sleep, I was dreaming about the cabin and what was creeping around. <laughs> I dreamed that a cougar got in the cabin and all kinds of craziness. So yeah, anyway, it is what it is. I'm gonna have a restful sleep tonight. And yeah should be good. We are back on the trail. Check it out. There's a bunch of woodpeckers here. There's one right there. Climbing up that tree. There's one over here and I just scared up a flicker. This must be good woodpecker grounds. Actually, Stony Brook. This is the Stony Brook Shelter. I'll stop here for some lunch. shelter graffiti I've seen. Really cool. If that's true, it was painted in 1979, which is crazy. Right next to the lamest 2020 outlaws. Oh, so that's probably the best view of the day obscured by the power lines. That's Killington. Uh, it's the next mountain on the trail and there's some ski hills up there. Killington's a popular ski ski location. It looks 
looks beautiful today. I jumped out and scared me. What are you doing jumping out and scaring people, little chipmunk? anticlimactic end of my through hike uh, at least this section of it right up there is Vermont Route 100 and that is it for me heading into <coughs> Killington I'm gonna take some day off, days off and heal up and then head home and uh, yeah, that was it. Uh, like I say, the kind of uh, anticlimactic end where I end on the side of the road in some random uh, town in, in Vermont, but it's all good. I mean, I can come back and, you know, kind of pick up from here in the spring or, you know, whenever I decide to, to do so and keep on, you know, hiking the AT. Um, you know, I guess uh, I've had a couple of days to reflect at this point. Um, uh, I had a lot of fun hiking the AT. I had some really good experiences, met some good people. Um, I, uh, have had the good fortune to run into most of those people over the past couple of days as they kind of trickled into Killington and, and Rutland behind me. Uh, so yeah, it was, it was, uh, it was quite the experience, you know, something to kind of look back on and, you know, uh, uh, something to be, I guess, pretty proud of. I, I mean, you know, this was a uh, 780 kilometers of hiking. That's that's a lot. Uh, it's not a an AT through hike, but it's something. Um, so uh, here's where we're at. I'm uh, getting my COVID test this evening, uh, and hopefully. I should be able to cross the border in a couple of days. I fly across in in uh, in three days. Um, gonna spend some time tripping around in uh, BC. Um, if all goes well and I get to BC, uh, I'll uh, make some hiking videos there. Um, but yeah, uh, for now, I guess the AT adventure is over. Uh, it was a good time, and. Uh, yeah, lots to lots to look back on. Anyhow, I appreciate everybody checking out my videos. Hopefully, uh, you guys enjoyed them, and uh, yeah, stay tuned for whatever comes next. Uh, I'm thinking that when I get home, I'll probably plan a, a through hike of the East Coast Trail um, for the fall or the winter, uh, and then when spring comes and I can kind of get moving again, uh, I'm gonna head out to the West Coast and do some of the international appalachian trail and we'll see where it goes from there stay tuned thanks for watching